Oh, look at that. She's absolutely gorgeous. Boom. Wow, look at that. Mm, missed it. As any brachypoma, they are pretty vicious eaters. This guy will probably be going through a molt pretty soon, but uh, yeah. On the next one. Can get a little happy dance going? Maybe? There he is. Starting to get a little bit of the black. Um, yeah, really cool species. I have three of these. One of them is going to the giveaway. <clears throat> right there. 248. So I need two more subscribers and I can finally do this giveaway. Alright, here's my Avicularia Avicularia Common Pink Toe. This one is extra feisty. Looks like she may be in pre -mont. Oh shit, I don't miss that. Okay, you gotta look all the tongues. Damn, she lunged at that. And took my tongs at the same time. Holy cow, that was crazy. You gotta give me the tongs. Come on. Oh, she's very pretty. Here is my Grandma Stola Porteri, the Chilean rose hair. Let's see if we can get this one on a feed. I think he's gonna go for it. Things of death go to sleep. Really nice looking right now. Let's see. I'm sure, he is hungry. <sighs> yeah, this guy is super hungry. Alright, here are my assassin bugs. Let's see if I can get a feed from this guy. Mm. These guys I also had to rehouse. Made an enclosure from uh my Phonopelma Simani's enclosure. She matured out, or he matured out, and now is on a breeding loan. Let's see if I can get. Oh, yes. Don't 
missed. And for the tongs. They have a bunch of roaches in there. Um, Big female dubia. You let it go? Oh wow. Take down. That's assassin bugs for you. Pretty gnarly. All right, here is one of my newer acquisitions. It's uh, Hedrurus arizonensis pallidus, the desert hairy scorpion. Hiding right under that cork bark. Um, might not be hungry. Oh, there we go. Boom. I find these guys to be really good eaters compared to um, my Asian forest scorpion. I see this guy all the time. Awesome. Here's my Nandi Carpal Ensis. Accidentally threw a couple roaches in there. So she's gonna have a nice big snack. Is it really cool? After molts, um, they're like bright red. Really neat looking tarantula. So, all right, on to the next one. Right here is my. Davis Pentaloris. This guy's been a lot, out a lot often lately. I've been able to get some good shots of him. That tiger striped abdomen, that's really cool. Really neat tarantula. I think they get to be about four inches. So a really nice dwarf tarantula. Alright, on to the next one. Here's my Brachycoma Classy Mexican Pink Beauty. Alright, 
so my brackies will be eating good today. Alright, here's my bracky pom bomi. Mexican red leg. Okay, honey. Let's drop two in there for him. Go in. Go in. Go in. Hi, Bobby. Go in. 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 Go <clears throat> my first pokey um I have a feeling this guy's in primo there's a roach right by him and he does not look interested so I'm just gonna leave this guy alone before he bolts out of the enclosure alright on to the next one I want to do a quick update my Pisilotheria metallica molted over the weekend and uh, gained a, a bunch of size I mean easily doubled double the size and that blue is looking fantastic but uh, yeah, I just want to do a quick update and uh, give this hopefully girl some water Here's my Cochiana Brunipes, Dwarf Pink Leg, sitting right there. Boom. Quick strike. And down she goes. Cool. And here's my August of Phyllis as Indami. Aubrey, no. These are really awesome. This is my Caribbean University color. Biting the tongue. There she goes. Super, super pretty right now. Those blue. This might be her last feed before she molts. Here is my Brachycoma Lumia. She doesn't let me down, but when I drop the roach, I'll mess up. They are really one of the cooler Brachys. Very my carabina versi color. Hello, oh, she's a spider. You see? Who is that? That's the carabina versi color. Very pretty spider. Where is the spider? Where is, where did the spider go? She went to her hideout in the web. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. 
All right, and that's the Antilles Pink Toe or the Carabina Versicolor. All right, guys, here is my mature male Samopolis Cambridge Eye. This guy matured out. Um, I got him. I think I got this one as either like a second or third instar, and uh, he matured out in less than a year. So they grow really fast. Let's see. I have yet to set him up with anybody, so if anybody's in the Chicago area and needs a mature male, San Paulo's Cambridge Eye, get at me. Let's go. There you go. Alright. It's the first time I got him to eat since he matured like three weeks ago. And he was hungry. He's hungry. He was hungry. Alright, so here is my Samopolis Poulter. I really love these guys. Let's see. If she's hungry. Maybe not. I want it. I want you to come out of here, that's for sure. Alright, I need to attend to this. I'll get that uh, roach out of there. She is gorgeous though. Hopefully it's a female. On to the next one. This is uh, my Samopolis Arminia's enclosure. I'm gonna try to get her to come out. There we go. Very hard to get this one on camera. Very reclusive. Yeah, this is one I rehoused not too long ago. Oh no. Where'd it go? Oh, there it goes. I missed it though. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Alright, here is my Tapanakinius Violaceus. Let's see. Another one that I'm hoping is a female. really hard to get um, the molts from the arboreals so usually um ooh nice strike that's very pretty tarantula but like I was saying it's really hard to get the molts out they usually leave them in their uh, web tunnels I really don't like disturbing it but uh, yeah, hopefully this one's a female find out pretty soon because I don't I think the males mature out pretty quick so really 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 cool tarantula I highly recommend it all right guys I just wanted to show you something real quick here are my uh, phylocrania paradoxes I just fed them uh, mealworms I usually feed them fruit flies, but um, I just started up another colony of flies and kind of running low on them. So I decided to try mealworms and I got them to eat, got them to take it. You kind of have to stick it in their face and get some of that mealworm juice and then that stimulates them to grab it. But yeah, they seem to be liking it. Um, now I heard that you don't want to feed too many of these mealworms because they could uh, they they could mess up the molting process. I'm sorry, my daughter's kind of being loud in the background. All right, this is my Avicularia metallica. Let's see if she's hungry. 
way. I think I fed her kind of recently, so she did. All right, boom. There she goes. This is the one I paired up. Um, I don't know, probably like, yeah, it was during, it was in December last year, so seven months ago, and she ended up molting like four months later, but yeah, I never had a sack, so. I don't know, maybe try again with her. If I could find a mature male, Vicularia Metallica. Let me know. I fed these guys not too long ago, so. I'm not gonna overfeed them. Alright, here is my beautiful Papalopus Columbia Large one of my favorites um, great eaters very in my opinion docile spider but skittish if that if that makes any sense Really, really awesome. Though. I really like the colors. Yeah, uh, another one that I'm hoping is a female. I wouldn't mind trying to breed her if, if she's a female. All right. Get the one in there. Can you get it? Boom. He got it. Nice. Really cool tarantulas. Mine has been fairly laid back too. I haven't really gotten any threat postures or anything yet from her. This is uh, approximately a three, three and a half inch specimen, so really neat. Okay, so this is a surprise. I'm not expecting a molt here. It's my uh, Nandu Chromatis. Must have molted pretty recently. This is a female too. Get this malt from her. Really nice looking spider. See, I won't be feeding this one, but I have I have another one, so we'll give that one a feed. Cool. Here is my Formictopus Cancerides of Haitian Brown. Let's give her a big old dubia. You guys are ferocious predators. All right, here's my green bottle blue. Boom, oh, 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 what a takedown. Ladies and gentlemen, this is why the green bottle blue is one of the best tarantulas. They are absolutely stunning. And they are ferocious predators. That was an awesome takedown. And this is a female as well.
I love Nandus. They are they are really cool tarantulas, guys. The big dubia. Let's see if she's hungry. Oh, whammo. Just destroyed that dubia. Alright guys, here is my last Cedora Para Hibana. This guy, I swear, is like my slowest growing tarantula I've had. Took forever as a sling to get any size. He had something like going on with his abdomen at one point. <laughs> but now he's starting to eat like a little monster that he should be. So I'm glad. Alright, here is my Bracky Pomo Homori. Right here, and this thing never turns down a meal, so we know he will eat. I, ooh, maybe he won't eat. Maybe he won't. I know he will. This thing, like me trying to talk to you. Hold on, honey. I thought he would uh, jump up and grab him. Hopefully this is a female too. Cow, cow, cow. Here is my bearded dragon aura. Let's see if she'll take it. Yeah. This girl is like two years old. Doing really well. Loving that. Yum yum. Good girl, Aura. Alright, this is my one crested gecko. This one's a male. Let's see if he wants to eat. He's kind of hiding right now. You don't want to eat? Oh, he got it. <laughs> He's hiding though. There he is. Kinda shy today. This guy's name is Latte. Alright, let's see if I can get my other. Oh shoot. That's my other crested gecko. This tank needs to get cleaned up a little bit. guy is what's his name yeah I forgot his name <laughs> yeah, he's loving dubias this dude I don't feed him dubias too often maybe two three times a week at most but he does get his rapashi every day, so. Probably your pest, your one of your best uh, pet lizards, I could say. Awesome. So here is my other bearded dragon. This one is a male, the other one is female. I don't intend on breeding them, but uh, yeah, this guy's name is Oscar. What's up, buddy? I got him. I wasn't really, I didn't really want to. Um, Aura, the female, ran away from me. I had her outside one day and... 
in the fall last year and uh, she took off probably went under my deck and um, she showed up in the spring or actually no she, we lost her in March that is yeah in March I had her outside it was a really hot day and um, yeah, she bolted on me. I did not I could not find her. I looked for hours. But um yeah, it was just tough. I lost her. We I held out for two, three months. And then I ended up getting this guy. Like in May, I think the beginning of May. And um literally like three weeks after I got this guy, she showed up, so I got two bearded dragons which I, I really like both of them but it's kind of a lot of work feeding two bearded dragons and all the spiders and crested geckos and stuff but this guy is awesome though he's got really nice colorations right go get that last roach dude go get it go get it yeah yeah there you go. All right. That is Oscar the Bearded Dragon. All right, guys. That's the end of my feeding video. If you held out all this way, thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys next time.